Yes, my dear friend, welcome back to the channel. This is Salon's blog. It is a great, great afternoon to you wherever you are on the continent of Africa, in Europe, in America, or here in Southeast Asia, to be precisely Malaysia. Dear friend, it is a great day, great Sunday to you wherever you are. Believe your day has been going, going through very, very well. I am excited to be back this very hour to give you one explosive. Yes, yes, yes. Now, dear friend, quickly. To get you going this afternoon, dear friend, I want you to look on your screen right now. Chelsea's first 10 games in the league next season. Our first 10 games in the Premier League next season. What do you think? How many points do you think Chelsea can make out of these 10 games? Our first game is against Manchester City. Yes, last season our first game was against Liverpool. This time around, they've given us Manchester City. What do you think about our first game? We are starting or we are traveling from tomorrow going to the US of A for our pre-season tour. Remember, our first game is in four days' time against West Ham. And it's in four days' time against West Ham. Yes. But then, after the pre-season tour, our first 10 games, Chelsea's first 10 games is what you can see on your screen right there. Our first game against Man City, second game is against Wolves, and that is an away game. First game is at Stamford Bridge, second game is an away game against Wolves, Wolverhampton. The third game is against Crystal Palace away, fourth one is against Bournemouth away, fifth one against West Ham away, sixth Brighton home. Seven against Forest at home. Eight against Liverpool away. <laughs> then we have Newcastle nine. Then Manchester United ten. These are the first ten games for next season, dear friend. How many points do you think, or are you expecting Chelsea to grab? Which of the teams do you think Chelsea? You know, looking at the current squad that we have, dear friend. Looking at the squad we have right now, and quickly because of that, I'll give the squad name. The players we have available in Chelsea, how much they cost? Yes, we keep working and believing pre-season. We keep working and believing. That is a picture of McWay, the young player, the 18-year-old we signed from Barcelona on your screen. From his ex, yes, from, from his IG, actually, he posted this on his IG. He said, we keep working and believing pre-season. McWay yet right there on your screen. But quickly, dear friends, just as I told you about the first 10 games, now I want you to look at these players on your screen. Chelsea's squad so far next season. Can these players take us through to win the, our first 10 games? We have Robert Sanchez. The amount they were purchased or the we bought them are equally included there. Their price. How much did we buy them? We have Robert Sanchez bought for 20 million pounds. Petrovic, 40 million pounds. James is an academy player. Malogusto, 30 million pounds. Wesley Fofana, 75 million. Tosin, free agent. Coel, free from the academy. Yes. Bada Shelley, 35 million. Makukrela, 55 million. Viega, 12 million. Casaido, 115 million. Romeo Lavia, 58 million, dear friends. Enzo Fernandez, 105 million. Dewsbury Hall, 30 million. Chukwemeka, 20 million. Gallagher, free from the academy. Yeah. Kopama, 40 million. Madrike, 30 million. Sterling, 47 million. My goodness. Modric, 62 million. Christopher Nkuku, 52 million. Nicholas Jackson, 32 million. They are all in pounds. It's all in pounds. Sterling, total, 774 million pounds the squad we have available right now is what you can see on your screen dear friend this squad can they take us through to or the first 10 games how much point how many points do you expect chelsea to gain in the first 10 games you saw it already the teams which are the teams do you think realistically next season chelsea should be able to beat hands down <laughs> i know this is a very tough one i'm giving you out there it is a tough, tough assignment for you to be able to tell which teams Chelsea can, you know, break down, hands down. 
Do you think our first game at home at Stamford Bridge against Man City, we can overcome them? Let me hear from you in the comment section. So we are just going to add another 226 million just for the fun of it to make it 1 billion pound. <laughs> Is that what we are doing right now? Looking for two or three more players to make it to complete it 200 to complete it 1 billion pound squad because right now we are still short of 226 million. Dear friends, not to mention we've had like over 300 million in sales so realistically, our next spend for our main team is like 450 million. Yeah. Yeah. Just as we spent 700 plus million pounds, yes, we spent about 774 million pounds in buying new players, Chelsea equally made sales of over 300 million pounds. Meaning, realistically, realistically, Chelsea spent only about 450 million. Well, our rival fans think they know it all. <laughs> our rival fans, Man United, Arsenal, Tottenham, Manchester City, they thought they know it all. They did. Look, our books are... Mm, we, are we didn't just buy. We sold also. We have value. Our players have value in the market. Whenever we sell, we make money out of it. So in... You know, when you balance it carefully, Chelsea spent just about 450,000 pounds. Yeah, exactly so dear friend. All right, quickly, it is a hot afternoon. I will not take much of your time. And like I said to you, we are going for pre-season as well. You see, Romelu Lukaku is waiting for Napoli after agreeing a pay cut with Napoli. Napoli must first resolve Victor Osimhen's future. PSG, the strongest European sweeter. Saudi interest too, yes. But Chelsea FC won 45 million euros for Lukaku. Napoli's valuation 20 million euros less than what Chelsea expects, but may yet rise. Yes, Napoli actually offered 25 million. 25 million euros. Chelsea's valuation is 45. And that is where the talks is still ongoing right now. Dear friends, it is what it is. Chelsea are demanding 45 million euros. Napoli is offering 25 but talks are still ongoing as we speak all right paris and ajima are planning to advance for both jaofel jaoneris and victor osman from next week benfica understand Jao, jao's desire to join psg talks are advancing between the clubs to get it done osman said yes to psg already deal with napoli not close yet but talks ongoing. So you see how it is. The earlier the talks between PSG and Napoli gone through with Victor Osimhen, the faster Romelu Lukaku deal could also go through. PSG are already planning to advance on Victor Osimhen deal next week as well. New round of talks with Napoli while the player gave his green light to PSG. As reported days ago, Osimhen not even on the bench for Napoli for their friendly game today. Yes, he's not even on the bench, dear friends. Well, quickly, before I get to you out, before I get through to my shout out tonight, let me end on Manchester United have informed Florentina that they will not trigger the 20 million buy option clause for Sofian Amrabat. <laughs> Told my United remain interested in Amrabat and willing to discuss different conditions as everything hard likes him. There is interest also from other clubs. Yes, there is interest also from other clubs. But Manchester United are not willing to trigger the 20 million release clause. They want to discuss different, you know, they are willing to discuss different conditions. According to the report we are receiving from Fabrizio Romano, dear friend, all right. Quickly, quickly, Christopher Nkuku speaking, you know, ahead of the trip to US. This is what he said. He said, we are playing with the ball already a lot. We are playing with the ball already a lot. As he told us the first day, he wants us to be on the pitch 
to practice football training directly. He wants us to be on a pitch to practice football playing directly. His idea is to keep the ball. So we are practicing that now. Marenska's idea is for the, the team, the 11 players that will be on the pitch of place, to keep the ball. Football, possession based football. <laughs> that is what Christopher Nkuku is telling us. Possession based football is what Charles wants to be playing. His idea is for us to keep the ball, and that is what we are practicing for now. Dear friend, this is coming from no other person than Christopher Nkuku. I can't wait for the season to start for me to see my first 11 Christopher Nkuku, Romeo Lavia, Nicholas Jackson, my goodness, Cole Palmer, just name them. Wow, that would be exciting to watch. Possession based football, dear friends. Well, it is a very good afternoon to you wherever you are. Let me give you a big shout out and get out of this place for you to have a great lunch, dear friends. All right, quickly, let me start on who? Ha ha. Ah, well, 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 well. Abba Francis, Abba Francis, Nigeria. It is not right for Kudus to go to Saudi for now. He still has a lot of years ahead of him. And as a young player, he should live for a club that can win titles because it is the pride of every player. Look at Hurricane. If he, if he don't win any trophy, it's a memory he can never forget in his career. So for me, Kudus should remain put in Europe from Abba Francis, Nigeria. You are right. That is what, exactly what I said also. It's not all about the money. It's not. So I also said that I would prefer Kudus to remain in Europe and fight for trophies. Exactly so, my dear friend, Abba Francis. Big shout out to you out there. All right. The same Abba Francis says that Galaga and Ugo Chuku are two great players, but Galaga stays for me and will go to be loaned for more experience. Abba Francis from Nigeria. You are right. Galaga should stay, Ugo Chuku could go for a loan for more experience. This is from um, Chuku Ebeze. It's a good day, sir. Happy Sunday to you and your family. God bless you for your good work. Chelsea should sign Aston Villa goalkeeper Martinez. And Man City striker Alvarez, Itoye Chukwe, Chukwe Beze, Chukwe Beze Derek from Delta State, Nigeria. Big shout out to you there, Derek from Delta State, Nigeria. All right. Uh, this is good job and nice one. But we want Victor Osime in Chelsea. My name is Ni Nigeria. But stay in Egypt now. All right, Ni, you are in Egypt now. But you are a Nigerian in Egypt. Wow. Big shout out to you. A very great Sunday to you as well. All right. For my good friend, Elisha. He says, let's look at Chuku. should go. Let almighty Conor Gallagher should stay because he is. Because he's an important player for us. All right. All right. This is from who? Being a not messy fan. That is why you are saying rubbish. My goodness. <laughs> I know it that Messi fans will come after me. My brother, I'm saying rubbish, right? It is well. Never mind. We are, you know, sometimes we need to make the video lively. You guys need to enjoy it as well. As we also enjoy it. I'm enjoying the job I'm doing, dear friend. All right? All right. So don't be offended. Don't be angry with me. The truth is, Messi is a great player. But my preference is CR7. All right? Okay. Your name is uh, Pecky Luton. Pecky Luton. That's what I can say. I don't know whether it's your original name or not. All right. This is another one from... He said, we don't need goalkeeper. We need a striker from Johannes. All right. Then the same Johannes said, stop telling us about Kudus and Osimen. They are not Chelsea FC. Oh, my dear friend. It means I should not talk about any other player again except Chelsea players, right? Well, well, that would be a bit, that would be difficult. And that would be unfair because some people still come across some of these videos. They are not Chelsea fans, but yet they enjoy the video. You understand it? That's why once in a while we try to mix it up with some other news items. All right? Please bear with us. Okay. Johanny, he said, Ogochuku must not go on loan. Sell him for good. And love ya, Nkuku, Madweke, Chukwemeka. Mm. Are you saying we should sell all these players? I will maintain them. 
Please come again. Come again, your highness. Come again and explain that to us better. All right. All right, my dear friend, summer delight. Say, sir, you explain to your wife if she hear you say another woman that she is so beautiful. You explain to me on the next video, sir, by delight. Dear friend, I have been explaining the, all this while. And since I, that video was published, I have not finished explaining it yet. I'm still explaining. And I know that I will explain tire. Mm, it is what it is. Let me go carry from a foot for head. I always I go explain tire. This this one, it is already a big problem. I'm already trying my best to explain. It is not an easy thing. But we continue to explain, dear friend. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Alright, this one is from uh, Aoku Set. Say good morning, bro. Good afternoon to you, bro. Whatever you are, big shout out to you guys. All delight, big shout out to you. Out there. Yes, I am grateful for your time you are spending on this video with us. Alright, this is coming from Kasimu Abbas. He said, as for me, Jackson don't need any striker for now. Oh, you probably try to say that we don't need any more striker since we have Jackson, right? All right, Kasimu Abbas, big shout out to you out there. Let me know where you are watching from and your name, please. Let me know your location with your name. As you are sending us your messages, let's have your location as well and your full name. All right. This is coming from Alfred Beku. Could Kudus, my brother, don't think twice. We are from Ghana. Money. <laughs> oh, yeah. Say, Kudus, my brother, don't think twice. We are from Ghana. Money that you work for for over five years will be achieved just one year. Go and take good money because football, if for some time, and life still continues after football. Well, 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 life continues after football. But then, there are other important things. Money is good. But you have to look at things in a very, you know, how will I put it? Well, it's your opinion. Actually, my brother, Alfred Beku, it is your opinion. All right? Depends, individual. Somebody delight again here. He said, happy Sunday. How are you doing today? May God give you more strength for the good job, sir. All the best for the best club, Chelsea. One love. Delight somewhere from FCT Abuja, Nigeria. Up blue for life. All right? And then same uh, Alfred Beckwith. He said, all we need now is Avarez and go good goalkeeper. What are they doing? <laughs> well, we are still in the market. We are not, fi we're not finished in the market yet. Our sporting directors are still in the market working on a goalkeeping issues and a striker issue. We hope, we hope, we hope for the best. All right? This one says, Ugo Chuku need to go on loan. So that he can see play time and also improve. Same thing with Santos. I know that both of them will come back at Chelsea and become important players. Michael from Lagos, Nigeria. Michael from Lagos, Nigeria, big shout out to you. Yeah, and you continue. He said, but you could need to go on low. Okay, the same. All right. He said, uh, Kasimu Abbas, good afternoon. Thank you for your wonderful work. Good afternoon to you. And very big shout out to you all in Nigeria out there. Yeah. Michael from Nigeria again said, Good afternoon, sir. Chelsea coming back victorious in all their preseason games. Up blues, Michael from Nigeria. Well, we hope so that the, the preseason will go well and we will come back winning all our six games in preseason. And not just win all the games in preseason, we are starting the games also in the league. 10 games continuously. My expectation. 10 games, 30 points. What do you think? 10 games, 30 points in our first 10 games at the, in the league. What do you think? Let me hear from you in the comment section. Well, let me end it here. I should be back in the next hours to come. I hope you enjoy it. Like the video, share the video. And let me hear from you in the comment section what you think. Give me your name because I'll give you a big shout out in our next one. See you in the next one when you see me, dear friend. Shalom and peace.